What is happening, Magnesites? So, the Angry Joe has weighed in on the new Superman costume. Well, let's see what he had to say. By the way, get over to Joe and subscribe. Tell him Tyrone Magnus sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. I've got the suit on because we've got some official. He looks so happy and he's wearing the suit. Well, can he either go one or two ways. He's going to like it or he's going to love it. Superman <laughs> behind the scenes costume reveals. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what the hell James Gunn was thinking with the original costume reveal. This is Moby Superman. This is I gotta go to work. I gotta go to school, Superman. The suit that he's wearing. James Gunn's suit is a little bit better than that one. <laughs> but we've got some recent uh, 30 unseen set pictures. He got just as many wrinkles in his suit as... <laughs> That new suit does. <laughs> of Superman in the suit. And guys, I gotta say, I love it. I freaking love it. It is so colorful. This is what I love about it the most. It is bright. It is vibrant. It is colorful. It is hopeful. Holy shit. And I know we're gonna talk about Superman's suit, but we have to talk about how amazing 10 out of 10 Mr. Terrific looks. Now, not a lot of people know <laughs> Mr. Terrific, but this is... Wait. My mind is processing. Error. 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 <laughs> what? What the... <laughs> it's like... Okay! Like, accurate Mr. Terrific. It, they couldn't have done... Anybody? Yes, Mr. Terrific is accurate. Uh, then I started getting comments and messages where people were saying, um, they woke him up in the comics. Let's see what Gunn does with him. We could have some, we could have some ESGDEI on the way. Better <laughs> with Mr. Terrific. Kind of up show Superman because they do have a few problems with Superman's costume. Although I do love it, and I think it's going to look great on screen, things look bad off screen. Hell, for a guy like um, Angry Joe to say that he loves it, I believe him. I'm actually very surprised at how many people actually like it. I feel like after going through my comment section, I really feel like the fans are f split kind of 50-50. I think I'm going to put a poll up and see what y'all say. I put a poll up on my channel and I pull a poll up on um on Twitter and we'll see what's up. I I it's just maybe a changing of the guard. I just you know, I I don't I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> Look at this suit. This suit I actually didn't even like at first when I first saw this, <laughs> and then I fell in love with it. I now own it, uh, and and Henry Cavill. But there are, I would say, two or three major problems with uh, David's suit. But now here's my thing. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> hey, first he said he loves it. And I said there's three major problems. I can't have a major problem. With a suit that I love. So he clearly thinks differently than I do about stuff. I cannot love a suit and have major problems with it at the same time. <laughs> I think ultimately it looks really good. So let's look at it together, shall we? Yes. Here is the thread. And God damn. And the more. I, I can't believe he's about that. God damn it. I can't. Come on, Joe. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like the symbol. I don't. I'm done with it. I don't like how they did it. I've seen other versions like that, and they've been better. I don't like uh, Brandon Ralphs is better. I 
Oh, God. Hey, look at this. Oh, my God. It's so amazing to see these colors. He just likes the vibrancy of it. What? I can't wait to hear what he like. What, what are the problems? Out in HD, out in the... The draws look stupid to me. They don't work. They should have went the Brandon Routh route and made them more like a, an Olympic swimmer's draw. Swimmer's draws. By Son, the trunks look fantastic. The cape looks excellent. And as I said about Mr. Terrific, that is... The way he's going on and on about it, it just kind of reminds me of this one time I was at the club with one of my, boy, my boys, right? And he saw this little blonde chick. I'll never forget it. This blonde chick, she was wearing a pink top and a black skirt. And she walked by and he was like, oh my gosh, she's so hot. And I remember she walked by again and because I didn't see her the first time. So when she walked by, I was like, who? Which one? He's like, her. I thought she was cute. But I mean, he was like, oh my God. Like it's reminding me of that. I'm like, uh -huh. <laughs> he's just loving it. And my boy, he actually had good taste in women. He did. I've seen a few of his girls. But that one, I mean, she wasn't an unattractive chick. But the way he was going on about her, I mean, I'm glad Joe didn't. <laughs> See, I don't know Joe personally like that. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't text me like, <laughs> like if I knew him, text me like, yo, you got to see it. It's phenomenal. And then like, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm something me and you're going to have to have a little talk, sir. <laughs> My one boy sent me pictures and I was like, nah. And he's like, well. I think it was a little better than the first picture. And I was like, I could tell that's why he sent it to me. He didn't say anything. Then after he saw a side-by-side -side comparison, he was like, I've changed my mind. It's trash. <laughs> Mr. Terrific. I love the hair. Uh, and, and he looks great there. Oh my God. The hair's God. okay. And I like the, dra the cape drape. The cape drape, I like the way it hangs. I like, I like that. I like the symbol on the back. The hair seems to be fine. Clark Kent hair is horrible though. Somebody said, and I, I pinned it as the comment. They said, it looks like one of those them Zoomers that are at the gym that take up a machine for hours, text in and they're wearing, they're wearing pajama pants and Crocs to the gym. When I tell you, I have a ton of that at my gym, how do you young dudes wear Crocs and work out? D I hope a plate doesn't fall on your foot. Look, I get it. Even sneakers don't really protect you. But Crocs... Whatever. <laughs> Look, this is so perfect. The fucking cape. I gotta say, the cape is better than this cape, okay? Because there's nothing on the back of this cape. I love the fact that there's the logo on the back of the cape. Uh, I was fine with Henry's not having it. They said it was kind of like an issue because they were using CGI for the cape and that's why they didn't put it on the back. It just made animating it a lot harder. I remember reading that and I was fine with it once I saw it. Like it, it I forgot that the symbol is on the back of his cape. Like I literally forgot. So... I'm I'm fine with it, but okay. <laughs> um, uh, once again, Mr. Terrific, ten out of ten. I think uh, uh, James Gunn gets the assignment with some of these uh, interest. Yeah, Mr. Terrific, it looks like they picked him right out of the comic book. But I heard some people have a problem with how he looks. I I, I don't. So, okay. Sting, uh, other DC characters. But Superman, Superman, the difficulty with Superman's costume, it seems simple, but it's hard. It's really hard to pull off a Superman costume. You see people cosplaying. I don't think it's hard. By what we've seen, I don't think it's hard. Christopher Reeve pulled it off. Um, Brandon Ralph, they pulled it off. Um, um, Henry Cavill, they pulled it off. Superman and Lois, they pulled it off. Um, what's his name? Nick, Nick Cage, horrible. Trash ass suit. Trash. I think, if I think about, I would rather take wear this suit 
than the Nick Cage suit, though. Nick Cage suit is trash, too. So. <laughs> Nobody looks right. Nobody looks appropriate. It's so rare. I mean, Henry Cavill looks fucking great in it. And Christopher looked amazing in it. But a lot of so other going people, through the it's very now. difficult. And so... It, but it should be simple. So let's let's continue. Let's look. Uh, okay. So from this picture, we have the first problem. Num problem too number baggy. one. Say the it. The costume is too baggy. Exactly. I bought this costume. I had to put some. Superman is a specimen, and it fits him snugly. Even in the old animation and the old comics, it still fit him. It wasn't baggy all over the place. I got some people tomorrow. They're going from a classic clock. Yeah, well, classically made it fit him. <laughs> um, uh, pins in it because it's too big for me. But this is a multi-billion dollar production. Why the fuck multi-million dollar production? Not yeah, billion. Yeah. <laughs> billion in terms of what the potential money that it can make. Yes. In the, uh, the movie franchises overall in the DCE. Uh, you, or the DCU, but guys, look at this. Why the fuck is this so baggy? Joe, you're interesting to me. I, I just don't, I don't understand how you can have a major, I, you know what I think? Maybe he's just so excited. He loves the color scheme. However, let's talk about these three major problems I have with it. That's what I feel like. He means to say, because I can't love a car and be like, but look at all the dents. I know because dents look like wrinkles and bagginess, right? <laughs> so you got a tow up car. I love the car, but all these dents in it. No, take the dents out. Then I'll love the car. <laughs> what the fuck are we looking at here? Can you see this? He got baggy what, boots what too. this? <laughs> Why? Why does it do this? Okay, you know what? Hopefully in post, Look at the boots. <laughs> uh, they can change that because that that looks bad. That's not good. Um, and then the second thing. So I'm going to move on from that picture because I hate it. <laughs> so, but you know what? The previous Superman suit I hate is it. bad from, from other angles. Um, I have saved. I should have had this ready. I have saved. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, the Superman suit stinks, and I hate it. Did I mention that they stink? Uh, some pictures. Y'all so should know where I got that from. Yeah. So, let's look at this. Wait, no, I got to see him run out again. <laughs> All right, so, let's look at this. He even pulled it so it flat. The back of the suit looks amazing. From this angle, yeah, it looks I good. almost even like the collar. And I don't normally like the collar. Yeah, I'm not really down angle, with it either. I like the collar. It looks very royal. It looks very regal. And I think that it works. If I saw that from behind, if that was like a, like a leaked shot, I would have been like, oh, look at that. Mm. And then they would finally release it from the front and I'd be like, oh. Works. Again here, I mean, why the hell did <laughs> this guy uh, work out so- Look at that belt. Look at- Look at that belt. Look at oh, the belt and the straps from the draws. Oh, man, the more I look at it, I hate it. Like it's not growing on me at all. Oh, goddamn hard. David got jacked for this role. And the suit that yeah, you Yeah, people him sent me pictures, man. It's poorly fitting. It seems baggy. I don't understand it. Now, this is movie magic. There are reasons for everything behind the scenes. Now, this may pan out to be true, maybe bullshit, but one possible explanation is you want the suit to be at least a little baggy so the actor can move around, do some action scenes, especially if you're doing some... Right, but then when we look at Henry's, Henry's wasn't baggy at all. So, maybe, maybe not. People, There's a p picture of Black Panther going around where his was slight little had a couple of folds in the sleeve but they fixed it in post so we'll see some 
some heavy action scenes. And that that stuff later can be fixed in post. Now, I can agree with that, but I think that, I mean, I've... That doesn't disqualify how the suits have been better fitting and tighter yeah. fitting on previous actors. So I'm not really sure whether I buy that particular excuse. Okay, so we move on. So this is the first picture that I ever saw, and I think it, it looked good, but his muscle definition is definitely lost in the suit yeah, because the suit is so thick. Now, second thing that I would like to... Look, someone sent that to me. Someone sent that to me, and I thought it was Henry Cavill. He got someone that looked like him. Like I was, I was sitting there. I was like, "Oh wait, oh this." Did. I was like, "They really did." Like everyone was saying, he looks like Henry Cavill. So it's like, well, why not just bring Henry Cavill back? But when I saw that, I was like, I thought that was Henry Cavill. Holy shit! So look, he got those muscles up. He's all pumped there. He got the bicep vein. He's ready to go. And y'all gave him that biker suit. The Justice League. He's in a biker gang. In the suit. Because the suit is so thick. Now, second thing that I would like to talk about is I do not, upon seeing this in the light, I just do not like the... Texture. What do you call this shit? Uh, the the <laughs> Iron Man uh, ripping. Uh, the Iron Man lines. Yeah, uh, it uh, just doesn't look right to yeah, me. It's kind of like sectioned in a way. Sectionalized. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word right now. It's um, If the suit had been just... Uh, you know, they've, they've been a way... Con they contoured. It's contouring. They've contoured it. It's like... The contours highlight the forearms, the 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 uh, you know the shoulders and everything. It does just it doesn't look right. One piece, one nice clean piece. I think it looks so much better, and I'm about to prove the one the fan made after they released the first picture looks way better than this. My point to blows you it right out of here. the water. Look at this. <laughs> Why did they have to go and mess it up with the MCU lines? The over design. Yeah. And I and I don't even like the one on the right, but it's it's better kind of than that one. Language that they use in the MCU, it appears as if James Gunn has brought that over. They didn't do it for Mr. Terrific. Mr. Terrific looks fucking good. They don't put a bunch of extra fucking lines in his <laughs> no, costume they didn't. like they did for, say, you know, um, other characters. But here, uh, if you give him a little bit more muscle definition and you focus in on all the hard work that David has been doing, I think the suit is so much better. Just fucking look at it. Get rid of the MCU lines, James Gunn. And I don't know what the purpose is. It's never supposed to be about fucking armor or, or you know, an alien suit. I like so much better that this is a Earth-based suit. This is something that he made, perhaps with... And everyone keeps um, saying, oh, well, his mother made it, so that's why it should be. And she sucks at sewing. She sucks at sewing. My mother was a seamstress and she knew how to make clothes for me that fit. Scarlo's mother is a seamstress. She knows how to make clothes that fit. All the cope is killing me, man. <laughs> his mother made it. That's why. With his mother, uh, Ma Kent or, or himself. Uh, but uh, if that's just one, uh, you know, part of it that I don't like. It's a big Both old piece like of trash. Another part that I don't really like is the yellow belt. I don't know. It just, it looks. Oh, my magnesite's out there. The suit's baggy. I don't like the lines. I don't like the draws. I don't like the color. I don't like the color. I don't like the fit. I like the Clark Kent hair. I know you're all saying what? <laughs> Dirty here, but that is, I guess, the color. I don't like the belt. The way it's supposed to look in that particular thing, the shading on the I don't belt. like the belt loops. Um, I do like the cape. I like the way the cape attach, attach. I don't like the forearms. I don't like the shoulders. I don't like the chest plate. I don't like the boots. 
just the collar is better than I thought. Like oh. I said before, the collar is better than I thought. And I love the logo. Look, I am a fan of the traditional logo. I'm a fan of the Henry Cavill logo. But this particular logo is as uh, appeals to my comic book side. It is the <laughs> Kingdom Come logo. Love the fact that it's on the back. Love the fact that it's on the front. It, it works. Here, let's look at some of the different suits over the years. Mm -hmm. This current suit that James Gunn has made really pays respect to a lot of different elements. Look, and they were all drawn to fit. None of them are baggy. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? They went classic. Went. They all fit. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? that have happened over the years. I love the fact that he keeps the trunks. The trunks are the strong man type of trunks. Um, and it really, really works. The yellow belt is fantastic. I'm glad that they kept it, but I want a, a cleaner yellow belt. From the New 52, that's where I think he's keeping some of the lines, the yeah. design language, yeah, and yeah, using that yeah. excuse, even though we kind of know that that is coming from the MCU and the way he uses that in the MCU. <laughs> and then you have the Kingdom Come suit right here. There's the logo, although it's huge in the comic books. Huge. And then some of the, uh, the, the, the cartoon versions is where you get that yellow outline on mm. the actual mm -hmm. uh, suit but man i think it works <laughs> when you get a chance go watch them they're very fluid cartoons they move real smooth go watch them they are really good they're fun to watch really well and i am in love with the suit and the more i see it the more i love it i just have a little bit of pro I, I, man I hope you ain't like this with your women, man. <laughs> I love her colors. But uh, you know, I got a major problem with her with her uh <laughs> with her stomach and her rolls. <laughs> but I really love her look. What? <laughs> problems with all of the ribbing <laughs> and the bagginess is like why did he work out saying god damn mr terrific is straight out of the comics this is mr terrific let me show you a picture i mean that I, is i can't love something that i hate several things about i can't do it <laughs> bang bang on you have it 100 percent damn it's such a good job on Mr. Terrific. Okay, so let's see some of these other pictures. They probably adjust the suit and fix it. But you see what I'm saying with the belt? The belt looks very dirty. It could be that he's already in action and he's already fought. But it's because dirty. you put all this ribbing on here, you see this part? It almost makes me feel like this part should be colored red uh, to kind of separate for, from the rest. But I would just say hmm. get rid of that, that, that and make that it just completely... Could have worked. Um, seamless. A seamless suit would work a lot better. And I hope... That in the future they do do a seamless suit because it looks oh do do we do agree do do it's do do <laughs> um that right there that that they made that look great why do the fans always do it so much better not always but the fans be killing these dudes sometimes I like that look at that you got crypto now having crypto in there might be corny. Yeah, I thought it was really dumb that crypto, you know, has a cape and anything. That's it's really campy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what they do. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so much better. Yep. Yes. Way Get better. Rid of the mother. Oh god. That right there destroys the suit. That it's destroys it. That suit. Fan made destroys the gun suit. God, crypto is here. <laughs> the the color is there. With the heroic that's, stance that's on that's crypto. So much better. Uh, <laughs> horrific heroes uh, did a great job there. Again, so see, there's no lot. There's no like MCU lines. This nope. is just the Kryptonian suit. Yep. And even if you were to do a Kryptonian pattern, I still think it's better. Now, yep. curious, for some people, they think, oh, it's too bright. It's too colorful. Well, you can't forget that in... I do think that it could be a little too bright. I don't exactly need it muted like Zax was 
because it was a good one that they had him wear at the end of Shazam. And um, of course, that wasn't Henry, but and uh, at the end of Black Adam, I thought that was a nice, nice version of it. I'd wear either one of them. In movies, they do the color grading. The color grading is going to be applied afterwards. Mm -hmm. and maybe know. this is a hint at a little bit of the yeah. color grading. So this is maybe. a picture on a newspaper stand that is shown in the background in one of the scenes. And as you can tell in the uh, uh, the color grading, it is a little darker here. So maybe it might end it up is. looking it a little is. darker. And I did notice that. I don't that. want it to be too dark. I think this looks great. If you zoom in here, I'm not sure if I can get it to zoom in, but... This looks fantastic. I, I actually really like this. Uh, when you zoom out, it actually doesn't look as good. It looks very photoshopped, very lazy kind of thing. But that's that's honestly, it's a background thing. And somebody managed to capture a picture um, of it, again, in one of the newsstands. Just saying Superman has uh, done all of these different things. And I love seeing this, paying respects to the old stuff. Ugh, perfect. Great. I say this suit has the capability of being a 10 out of 10, but in its current... No, not in its current state, and it looks like that's what they're using. So unless, like, everyone's saying, watch, you're going to get, like, three, four other suits. Watch. Okay. I know you spoke to him. You spoke to Gunn. You know. So if if he does, and he ends up getting some more something streamlined and better, great. Who knows? You know, listen, I'm a big believer in that these companies aren't as stupid as you think they are sometimes, even though they do do a lot of dumb stuff. I think that sometimes they release stuff so that we think something particular and they want to gauge us hot or cold on something. And then they may go immediately to work on something to make it better. So he may end up getting another suit later. He may have just been like, oh, God, half of them hate it. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we've got this one. We need to use this for filming. Later on, we're going to give you a new suit at some point. We're going to make it fit just like everybody wants it to. All right, because I'm not having this movie fail. You got what I'm saying? So we'll see. Current form with the MCU lines, with the uh, bagginess uh, that it has, uh, I think that takes it down one point each. There's the getting used to it factor. I'm going to go maybe a 7 out of 10 right now. And that thing can go up uh, from there. Uh, I'm going a trash out of 10. Uh, but everything else, all of those seven points, the uh, the paying respect to the things that came before, the bright, vibrant colors, the cape looks awesome, the logo on the back of the cape, uh, the Kingdom Come uh, logo, while is definitely a unique choice, we have a new Superman, I'm willing to give that a shot. So all boom, boom. Sounds as if he likes the idea of what the suit is and what it represents. However... Not the, uh, what do they call it? The uh, execution. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. All those points go up. And then really you're just getting negative for the bagginess, uh, for the ribbing, and, uh, you know, and, and those kinds of elements to it. And I hope that it looks a lot better on screen and they do a little bit yeah. there. But we'll have to overall, see. Overall, fantastic. Absolutely I not am fantastic. very excited <laughs> to see this suit in action. Makes me wonder if. Joe's one of the guys that kind of like, you ever, um, you work for a company and uh, a lot of words that they use in like sales and marketing and stuff is fantastic, excellent. What I would like you to do, like they overuse amazing, fantastic, excellent, extraordinary job, even though they the employees really didn't do an extraordinary job. They did a great job. They did a good job, but extraordinary, this one's making me wonder. <laughs> Joe, I still love you, man. <laughs> but I don't know how you like this. <laughs> really, really want to see this suit in action. Here we go. So let's see uh, a bit more. Oh, man. Looking. Uh, it looks good. It looks good next to each other. That would be a dream for these two to come together. I don't know if their ages are right, but uh, who cares? That would be really cool. Though they've said before that these are two separate universes, and so I just don't think it's going to happen. Again, initially, that... I never saw that look on Henry's face. I've seen different pictures. Just in that looks stance, a lot more comic y, kind of a little bit more goofy. <laughs> yeah. and I think it's the lack of muscle definition uh, and 
this here uh, is... That suit is perfection. And you know what? If they had gone with that suit and done like uh, the whole Brandon Ralph um, um, swimmer trunks, I think they could have pulled that off with that. Um, they'd have to done done something else different with the lines and stuff. They had done something different, but I think it would have really worked. I've seen pictures out there where they put the trunks on it, and it worked. The fans are great at doing what they do, you know? It's very Kryptonian. Like I said, I didn't know if I liked it at first, but I definitely like it now. But, man, the fucking that, The one picture on the left fantastic. is the absolute best picture. Uh, we had, That's well, it. We got a lot of baggy There's nothing else good about this. Just does not look at the baggy like boots. This. Look at the baggy boots. See? This man <laughs> has the definition. Yo, he got the grandpa draw draws look. He got your grandpa walking around in his draws look. Look at the front of that. The the the, the super depends. I will never wet my pants again, Luthor of Superman, but we know he does. The boots, the way the boots fit, <laughs> that's the bagginess really gets to me. Yep. I really hope that, you know. Yo, what's crazy is I would see shots of Brandon Ralph in that suit and I was just like, oh god, that looks bad. That destroys this suit. These people work hard on their bodies in order to be Superman, and that needs to be shown off. And we have people coping with it. It's like pure strength without anything to prove. The fact that it has no interest in showing muscle definition. It's like, yeah, but even that, in my opinion, little, looked a little awkward. He's like, it's like Superman All-Star. It's like, mm. <laughs> that's a little cope, in my opinion. All right, but his smile looks great. He's got the kind he looks face. happy. Um, I wouldn't be smiling like that in that suit. You know how mad I'd be? Man, James Gunn would have fired me. <laughs> it looks like they're having a good time, and I can't wait to see a Lois Lane having the purple top is so cartoon. I fucking love it. The uh, Superman cartoon. That's great. Uh, but, uh... Jesus, Henry was Jack, so that's why you got to show it off. Okay, so, um, I don't know. A lot of people saying, you know, the costume is CW-ish. Uh, yes. There's the CW costume. Mm -hmm. I can I can see what some people are saying, but I like it better than the CW costume. I mean, there are people that call the Christopher's costume corny as fuck now, and I'm like, well, fuck you. you, you don't know it's this. dated, but he fit it well. He really did fit it right. 100%. Uh, ooh, we get it actually in motion. There's a video. Interesting. What is this? It's so, so matter of fact, it's so kind of uh, uh, friendly. So maybe he's he's doing some hostage negotiations. Um, he's I'm saying, how long you expect me to keep wearing this suit? Background. That ah! would be an That's what he's doing. Scene. Thanks to that person who actually caught it in, uh, in action. Yeah, Lois Lane. Lois Wait, what was that? It in, uh, in Pause! I hate when it... Come on, man! Scene. Thanks to that person who actually caught it. <laughs> Photos from the set of Superman War Reveal. <laughs> I think it looks great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> in uh, in oh. action. Yeah, Lois Lane. Lois Lane looks great. That looks fucking good. Oh, I like this. You get an action uh -oh. shot. Of what the was that? That looks great. That looks fuck. Oh, Kryptonian armor version. Let's um, like let's not pretend an MCU Superman design wouldn't look like this. Fucking good. Oh, I like this. You get an action shot of terrible. Look at that. Look at the pants and the draws connection. It looks looks like pajamas with footsies in them. That's what it looks like. Lois, she's checking him out. She's looking right. <laughs> she's looking right uh, at the package right there. <laughs> All right, you guys, tell me, what do you think of the Superman suit? Does it need more muscle definition? Do they need to... Henny and Gr Henry... Henny. Henry... <laughs> I need some Henny after looking at this. Henry and Christopher Reeve will go down as the two greatest Superman of all time so far. If the dude from Superman Lewis keep going, he might be in there too. 
Um, I, I really think that he's, you know, and I liked Brandon, but I don't know. I think the one, I like the guy from CW better. Um, I know Tom Welling. I know, I, but I don't put him in there because he never really did anything, you know, with the whole suit. It just it pissed me off that they never did that with him. But yeah, so Tom is definitely an honorable mention. I really liked him and wanted him to be the new Superman in Superman Returns, but they didn't do it. So, you know, or was it after that that they did? Or I can't remember the timeline of when they did Superman Returns and in, in Smallville, but I wanted Tom to be the new Superman. I was really rooting for him. Take the lines out in a version two. They even modified this suit as they went along. We've seen Superman with different suits already in Superman movies, so um, I don't feel like we have to be locked into one particular suit. Uh, right now, I'm wavering between a seven and an eight out of ten, which could go up uh, from there based on uh, uh, what it actually looks like on screen. So I think it's a great reveal. I think it does give us some insight into what. James Gunn's movie is going to be. It looks bright. It looks hopeful. It looks vibrant. This makes me think. I'm like, okay, I love this pizza, but it's cold and it's burnt over here. Then I can't love the pizza. <laughs> I Brent, this is w the way Superman, I feel, should be de depicted um, instead of this dark, mopey, uh, I don't want to save anybody and nobody appreciates me kind of thing that was happening in the Snyderverse for a long time. So, very excited. You got to remember, though, and I always defend it. They wanted him to be more grounded into the world like Nolan's Batman. So they were making it like, well, if somebody with godlike power did land on this planet and start doing stuff like that, people would actually fear him. They might be hopeful, curious, but they would also fear him. And that's what they did. That's how they played it out. So I don't think that that's Zach's fault. For and Zach had an arc for him to become the whole <laughs> later. So they just never let him do it, though. So And I, I really, really um, am jumping on board the train. And I hope you guys jump along with me because I want the Superman film to be successful. Uh, and launch this new DCU in, in the best way possible. And we'll see. It, I am concerned there does seem to be a lot of characters surrounding Superman in his mm -hmm. own film. We have like so yeah. many other superheroes. Yeah. So how's that going to affect it? Is it going to take away from the main character? Um, you know, or this is Infinity War? What is it? His own movie? <laughs> I don't think so, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. Leave your comments down below. What do you think of the suit reveal? Do you think it looks terrible, MCU cosplay, or do you think that uh, it might look better on screen, or do you love the look uh, that it has right now? Leave I think it's a big old piece of trash, Joe. But you are entitled. To your damn opinion. I say, eh, eh. Post comments down below. Let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts on this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. <sighs> Woo!